Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I'm really excited because I have not made a Mobile Studio Pro video for a very long time, but I can finally replace this with this. So if you are not familiar with this product, it is a drawing tablet. It has a screen, so it's a bit like an iPad, but you can plug it into a computer or you can just use it on its own because it's got a computer built in. However, it came with this, which is the power adapter. Now this is not a particularly heavy charger, but it just makes no sense for this charger to be so big and to be wired like this. You can't remove this cable. And so once this cable breaks, you're going to have to call up Wacom and ask for a new one or buy a new one. When this device came out in 2016, there were like no chargers that actually worked with it apart from the one from the main company. So it's like, what is the point of having USB-C charging if this is the only one that you can buy? Two or three years later, they finally came out with a charger by this company. And most importantly, it was a 100 watt charger, but it was really big, probably heavier than this charger right here. It made no sense to me to buy a charger that was heavier than the original. I wanted to keep the whole thing as light as possible. That's the name of the product, the Mobile Studio Pro. It's nice and thin. It's a full desktop PC in a small tablet. And then finally, this one, the Anker Series 5 PowerPort 3 2 port 100 watt charger has come out and I don't even know when it came out, but I finally bought one and it's not too expensive either. This device goes for 7,000 yen in Japan, which is probably something like 65 or $70 out West. So this is the packaging of the Anker Series 5. It is the PowerPort 3 2 port 100 watt charger. Remember, this is basically the limit of USB-C and it took quite a long time for this to come out, but finally a 100 watt charger that can actually be provided through a single port. Quite unusual to find a charger that had 100 watts coming out of a single port and that's what the Mobile Studio Pro needs because this, I've tried it with other chargers like the 45 watt charger that comes with a MacBook Pro. I tried a 65 watt charger from Anker and it doesn't work. This computer is obviously not drawing 100 watts all the time, but for some reason it just refuses to charge unless you've got a 100 watt charger, which is why this is so exciting. So let's go ahead and open it out of the box. Just pull it out like so, and I'm hoping it's gonna be nice and small. Just check the instructions away. We don't need that on the packaging. And this is the charger. Look how small that is. You just flick it down like this. Yes! Now you've got a choice of two different ports here, so you can actually plug in two devices at the same time and share 100 watts, or you can have just one laptop plugged in and have 100 watts going directly to that one device. This is the type of cabling that you need for the Wacom charger, and this is the <laughs> Anker charger by comparison. Absolutely minuscule. You could fit two of these Anker chargers where you have one of these Wacom chargers. Maybe three or four millimeters thicker and weight wise they are more or less the same actually. Now the next thing we need to talk about is the cabling because there are two cables that come out of the original Wacom charger. There is the wired in cable which again if you bend it too much it will probably break eventually. I've been really careful with mine for five years. The benefit with the anchor of course is if you break the cable you just buy a new USB cable for like 10 or 15 dollars. So that is the main disadvantage of of the original Wacom charger. The second disadvantage is just the shape. Because one cable comes out this end and another cable comes out the other end, you're always stuck with sort of a minimum size, a bit jutting out on the left and a bit jutting out on the right, when really I would have preferred for this device to just have both plugs coming out of one side of the charger. And check this out, it's one of those unusual three hole, I don't even know what this is generally used for. I've only ever seen this on laptop plugs. It's not the kind that you use for an electric kettle. It's easy to find, it's just they're not as common and you don't have them lying around your house like you do figure eight mains cables. Whereas the anchor solution, obviously the plug is built directly into the plug. And for the cable that leads to the laptop, the benefit of this is that you can choose any length you want. So if you want this charger as small as this, you could have a one meter cable or a three meter cable or however long a cable you want coming out the end of this. And so that brings me to product number two. Now this is a USB-C cable which is rated up to 100 watts. Now I'm only buying this as a precaution because I don't actually know of the cables that I already own whether they only go up to 60 watts or 85 watts. So I wasn't actually sure but what I will do is I will test this cable and also like the cable that came with my MacBook Air. It is an Anker USB-C to USB-C 100 watt 3 meter cable. I got it in red which is nice. 
And the only reason I chose red was because I don't have any other red USB-C cables. So at least I'll know that this is the one that I use for the Mobile Studio Pro and I'm not gonna like confuse it with anything else. It's time to plug it into the Mobile Studio Pro and let's see whether it actually charges. This is the Anchor PowerPort 3. I'm going to plug this into the wall socket like so. Just plug this into the top port. I don't think it really matters which one, but presumably it's the top one. And going into the Mobile Studio Pro, just plug it into any of the USB-C ports. And hopefully, yes! So hopefully you can see the animation here of the battery charging up. It's going from empty to full, obviously. It's already partially charged, but that's the animation. And if I just click on here, you can see charging. You can see from this little icon here. So that is a success. That means we've got a charger that works at half the price of the original Wacom charger. Very happy with that. I think the next thing I want to try is using a different cable. I happen to have a MacBook Air cable right here. So this is just the one that came with my laptop. Hopefully this also is hundred watts. So let's just plug this into the anchor. So MacBook Air cable going in and the other end over here, just plug this into the port and let's see. Oh, check this out. It is still charging. Just look at this. This is the Wacom cable mess that I used to have to carry around. It was horrific. And now I've got this tiny little anchor charger. It's a little bit bigger than the MacBook Air charger, but as you can see, this is a really nice small charger, but it only goes up to 30 watts. This is the anchor charger that goes up to 100 watts. And you could actually charge two different laptops at the same time with this. And look how, look at the size comparison. The size difference really is negligible. Plus if you get an anchor two port charger, you can charge your phone at the same same time. So there you have it, finally a replacement charger for my Mobile Studio Pro. Now obviously my original charger, I've taken good care of it so it's not actually broken, I can still use it. And actually the main reason I've bought this is not because I wanted a smaller charger that was USB-C. The real reason I got this is because I want a charger on the go and a charger that just stays at my desk. Now one of the nicest things about running a computer which is a laptop, because this is a tablet basically the computer is built in. I can use it as a Cintiq when I'm drawing at my PC and like live streaming and all sorts of things. But when I want to go out, I don't want to go under the desk and like have to unplug all the power cables and undo my cable management. I just want to leave this plugged into the wall under my desk and just have it neat and tidy and never unplug it. And then when I go out or if I'm just driving, driving, drawing in a separate room in the house or maybe I'm going to a cafe or doing a mobile video like a vlog or something. I want a separate charger that I can bring with me or just leave in a separate room and this is the one that I'm going to go for. Roughly $70 plus I can use a USB-C cable that I already had in my house which was I thought this was only rated for 30 watts but apparently this runs up to the full 100 watts. Thanks Apple that was nice but more importantly it's really nice to know that there are options other than just the Mobile Studio Pro original charger that comes from Wacom. Nothing against the Wacom charger at all. It does the job just fine and it's nice and light and it's honestly not that big, but it's a, it's a bit of a mess. So if the cable breaks or just, you're always thinking that the cable is going to bend because it bends out of the charger. You're not ever like nervous about bending the cable when it's in your bag. It's like finding the perfect way to bend this so it doesn't actually get damaged in your suitcase. It's inexpensive, gives you an option so that if you don't happen to have the money to shell out for the official charger, this seems to work just fine. Listen, it's just a simple video because I think there's probably a lot of people who are searching for alternative chargers for the Mobile Studio Pro, not finding videos or not finding websites talking about it because I did a little search online, I really couldn't find anyone talking about it. So here's a quick video. This is the one, Anchor PowerPort 3 2 port. 100 watt charger and of course if you want to buy a separate cable you can buy any length of cable that you want this is a usb-c 3 meter cable rated up to 100 watts it cost me something like 15 dollars that's if you don't already have a usb-c cable in your house if you're interested in more drawing content i've actually been doing a few drawing streams on the twitch channel and expect some drawing content in the future on this channel as well i'll be getting back into using the mobile studio pro a little bit more regularly definitely want to level up this year in terms of drawing illustration and manga and all those things. So be sure to be subscribed to the channel. Come and hang out on Twitch if you want to watch some live streams. If you want to actually share the art that you draw, you can hang out on the Nihongo Gamer Discord, which is always good fun. And we've also got a weekly art prompt where we put up a topic, something nice and simple like draw a box or draw a character or draw a background and keeps everyone like in a community atmosphere like we're all drawing every week and staying on top of things. So the link to all of that stuff is in the description box below. You can find me on Twitter as well. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video and or stream.